I don't know why I'm wearing this um, <laughs> sleeveless thin material top <laughs> when it's so so cold but yeah we're gonna move anyway hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Ifedaya and I'm a Nigerian beauty blogger based in Lagos in today's video we're going to be talking about sun protection and why you should wear sunscreen if you'd like to hear more of that if you want me to convince you that you should wear sunscreen as a human being please keep on watching so I'm going to just start talking so the sun as we know it is um, a great source of vitamin D and you know blesses us with its rays and the rays that the sun emits are UVA, UVB and UVC rays and they are lettered according to their wavelengths. UVC has the shortest wavelength, UVB has a longer wavelength than UVC and UVA has the longest wavelength of the, of the three. UVC rays do not penetrate us on planet Earth so I just gonna keep that to one side. So I'm going to go ahead to talk about UVA rays and UVB rays. UVA rays which are the um, rays that have the longer wavelengths have been found to cause damage of the skin by generating what is called free oxygen radicals and contributing to oxidative stress to the skin cells. In so doing they promote premature aging, they cause the collagen in your epidermis on your skin cells to bind abnormally and also causes pigment dep deposition yes it causes the formation of wrinkles it causes your skin to lose its, lose its firmness and elasticity and by doing this causes premature aging it's also important for you to know that uva rays actually account for 90 to 95 percent of the total amount of rays that hits us here on planet earth last thing i should mention about uva rays is that uva rays are the rays that penetrate through, through glass windows so what that means is that if you're sitting in a room with windows, you're going to get UVA rays. UVB, ray, UVB rays, which are the shorter wavelength rays of the two, of the two uh, contribute to, to about 5-10% to of total rays that hits us here on planet Earth. So UVB rays have been found to be more associated with hyperpigmentation, sunburn, and also the, the formation of certain skin cancers like squamous cell cancer, basal cell ca carcinoma, and even, melan um, and even melanoma. It causes a lot of hyperpigmentation, which is one of the most, most, most common <laughs> cosmetic concerns in people or in skin of color. It's also important to note that because UVA rays because you do not feel the burn, because UVA rays do not burn, and um, you might not feel the damage of UVA rays on your skin. You might just see it after a long period of time because they do not burn on like UVB rays. If, another thing I should mention is that the higher you go in the altitudes and the higher you go in the atmosphere, the exposure to ultraviolet, ultraviolet radiation becomes higher. Hence why people will climb mountains, mountain climbers, and people will, um, will spend a lot of time in the atmosphere need to apply sunscreen as well another thing that you mentioned is that ultraviolet radiation is also reflected from sand water and snow and it has been found that the amount of, of ultraviolet radiation that snow radiates can be as high as 80 percent of ultraviolet radiation so there's no excuse not to use sunscreen because you're in, if you're in the, the sand reflects ultraviolet radiation back and water does the same thing, snow does the same thing, but snow has been found to be highest. How can you protect yourself from the sun? Um, the first way is to avoid the sun when the sun is highest, which is between usually between the times 10 a.m. and 2 to 3 p.m. in the afternoon. Two, wear long sleeve clothing, not like what I'm wearing, long sleeve clothing to protect yourself from the UVB UV from the UVA and UVB rays. Also wear wide brimmed hats sunglasses are also important in protecting you it's also important to wear sunscreen wear sunscreen at least 30 minutes before you go out and wear a broad spectrum sunscreen that will protect you against both uv areas and uvb rays before going out into the sun it's also important to apply the correct amount of you of sunscreen to your skin usually it is recommended that you should use about a quarter a quarter to a third of a teaspoon for your face and neck and if you cannot measure a quarter to a third of a teaspoon you can it has also been found that you can use two long finger breads so from one end of your finger to the other you guys can see that but this is what is described as two finger lengths of sunscreen so two sunscreen being spread across the total length of two fingers so that's the amount of sunscreen you should be applying to your face and neck and ears and i'm very sure many people are applying up to that amount but that's actually the recommended amount if not you can measure a quarter to one third of a teaspoon and that amount should be enough for your face and it's also important to wear a broad spectrum a broad spectrum 
a broad spectrum SPF with a sun protection factor of at least 30 to protect you from UVA and UVB rays. So let's start, let's talk about sunscreens. Sunscreens are usually labeled with a sun protection factor which can be 15, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 15, 50 plus. And what this represents is the amount of protection that sunscreen provides against UVB rays. So it has been found that SPF 15 protects you from about 93% of, of ultraviolet radiation, SPF 30 protects you from about 97% of ultraviolet radiation, while SPF 50 and above protect, gives you the highest UVB protection. For, um, sunscreens, for sunscreens that are made in Europe, um, it has been mandated that the um, UVA con content, the UVA content of those sunscreens should be at least one third of the total amount of protection that that sunscreen is said to provide. And if the sunscreen is found to pass that test, it is given a UVA circled to show that it meets the EU requirements for UVA. You may also find a PA plus, PA plus plus, or a PA plus plus plus, or a PA plus 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 found on, on some of your sunscreens, especially sunscreens that are made in Europe or sunscreens that are made or sunscreens that are made in um, Asia. Um, and this is, is the PA grading system and the PA grading system tests the PPD of the sunscreen, which is persistent pigment darkening of the sunscreen and it shows the level of protection that that sunscreen has against UVA rays. However, it's not a widely, widely accepted international standard for grading sun protection or UVA protection. So that's that about recognizing your sunscreen and understanding um, what your sunscreen means and what exactly it protects you against. Sunscreens are divided into two types, which are the physical sunscreens and the chemical sunscreens. Um, the physical sunscreens have been found to be those chemical ingredients that protect you from the sun by shielding you from the UV ultraviolet. Sunscreens that tend to leave a residue or leave a white cast. And, but they are best for sensitive skin types as um, people are less likely to react to them. They are also the best sunscreens for babies. Um, examples of physical sunscreen ingredients include zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. Zinc oxide is a very good UVA blocker. Chemical sunscreens on the other hand are those chemical substances or chemical ingredients that have been found to protect from the ultraviolet radiation from the sun by literally reflecting this, the, this ultraviolet radiation from the sun they have been found to not be best for sensitive skin types they usually do not leave a white cast which is why many people love them examples of chemical sunscreen ingredients include octinoxate homosalate avobenzone octocryoline tinosub s meroxyl sl and meroxyl xl and um i should mention that some of these ingredients have been some of these ingredients are not yet regulated for use in sunscreens made in America so they are not FDA approved yet but they are widely used in European sunscreens and sunscreens made in Asia. Um, Tinosub S has been found to be a very, Tinosub S and Meroxyl have been found to be very amazing UVA blockers which are also photostable. Evobenzone is also a UVA blocker but it's not as photostable which means that it degrades up upon continuous, um, continuous exposure to the sun. That's it about physical and chemical um, blockers. To round up this um, conversation and to convince you that you should be wearing sunscreen as a human being, it's important to know that UVA, B, UVA and UVB rays are, um, are damaging to both to all skin types regardless of color. They are they cause premature aging, they cause wrinkling, they cause fine lines, they cause damage to the collagen in your skin and some of some of the other proteins in your skin. They cause stress to your skin cells. They also cause the formation of age spots and um, hyperpigmentation as, and, and can also cause certain skin cancers. It's also important to note that you should protect yourself when you're going to be exposed to the sun and that the sun is highest during the time of 10 a.m. to about 3 p.m. You should wear long sleeve clothing, wide brimmed hats and sunglasses and you should wear a broad spectrum sunscreen that is what that has a sun protection factor of at least 30 to protect you from the UVA and UVB rays. You should also reapply your sunscreen every two hours, especially if you're outside upon and on if you, especially if you're outside and in contact exposure to the sun or if you have been swimming or have been in contact with water. I've also spoken about physical sunscreens and chemical sunscreens, how to recognize that a sunscreen is broad spectrum and spectrum and how much 
protection your sunscreen offers and i've also told you the, the chemical ingredients contained in physical and chemical sunscreens the next video i'll be doing most likely be where i mention my three favorite sunscreens to you guys and tell you guys what i think about them if you guys would like to see that video please let me know in the comments i'll definitely get that video out for you i hope you guys find this video helpful i hope it wasn't too long or windy and i hope you was able to get my point across to you in as few points as possible you should be wearing sunscreen and no matter your race age as far as you're living alive and you have skin which we all do you should be wearing sunscreen you should protect this the way you protect all other organs in your body and literally every skin step every skincare step is a waste if you are not wearing sunscreen sunscreen is important not only in the prevention but also in treatment of hyperpigmentation the most important skincare step period think about all of the organs in your body and how you protect them how you drink a lot of water to protect your kidneys how you protect your heart how you work out and exercise protect your skin by wearing sunscreen I hope this video helped you. I hope you like it. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked it. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.